don't think you were recording. Oh, yeah, I'm recording now. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name's Alfredo, and uh, I'm a radiology student at Santa Barbara City College. And today we're going to be showing you how to uh, do a sinus series and also, uh, at some point, a mandible series as well, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we want to start out by setting up our room. We have our tube detented to 48 inches. You can do 40 to 48 inches, it's fine. Uh, you want to make sure you wipe down your board here. We use these nice purple wipes um, just because our, our, patient's, uh, our patient's face will be coming in contact with, with this uh, board here. You want to make sure it's, it's clean. Uh, you want to have your image receptor or your cassette ready to go. We have an eight by 10. Uh, since we're doing sinuses, we're starting with the frontal. We're going to go ahead and just set it up um, in a portrait view. We um, have our markers here ready to go. We have a chair just in case our patient is a little tall uh, and he won't reach up here. We want to make sure he can sit down. Uh, with sinuses, you want to also use a cone because we're not, you know, we're not really uh, using a whole lot of area. You want to make sure you cone down and get as much um, as much of the sinuses. All right, let's go ahead and grab our patient now. All right. Hutchinson? Yes, sir. John Hutchinson? How are you doing? Hello, sir. Is that you? Yes, sir. All right, nice to meet you. My name's Alfredo. I'll be uh, doing your, your procedure here today, OK? Uh, Mr. Hutchinson, can I get your date of birth, please? Uh, 4688. All right, well, it's you. Let's head right this way. So I understand we're going to be doing uh, sinus x-rays on you today? Yes, sir. What's the reason for that, sir? Uh, that's a sinus problems, my friend. All right. Well, I understand. So what we're going to do is, uh, if Mr. Hutchinson here was a female, we want to ask uh, if there was any chance of pregnancy. So we're just going to go ahead and ask, sir, is there any chance of pregnancy? Uh, not, not with me. No? All right. That's cool. Let's head right this way. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and shield our patient from the back, since our primary beam is going to be coming in from the back. Uh, you want to shield him here. Sir, go ahead and have a seat. So luckily for us, we had our, our seat out. Uh, since he is pretty tall, you can see that he wasn't going to fit. Uh, so we're going to be using this cone as well. Okay, so for our first one, our first uh, sinus shot is a uh, PA with a perpendicular beam. Uh, so we're not going to do any sort of tilts here. On uh, sinuses, you want to keep the beam perpendicular. You can see uh, air fluid levels and stuff like that, which is what doctors want to see. So if uh, I'll have my cameraman come right this way, what we're going to do, sir, is uh, go ahead and get your face here as close as you can. All right, so <clears throat> we can line up the uh, OML line first to be perpendicular with, with the beam or with the image receptor. We're going to lower this down a little bit. Actually, that's, that's pretty good right there since we're going to want our uh, center ray to exit at the acantheon, or I'm sorry, at the nasion. So uh, once we have our OML somewhat perpendicular, we're going to go up. 15 degrees, about right there. And we want to make sure that our center ray will exit there, so we line up our tube with the bucky. And then we're going to cone down to the area of interest. There you go. Perfect. We're also going to put our marker on there, make sure we put our marker. Right side, it's going to be right here. Give me a second to orient myself. All right, so that looks pretty good there. Center ray exiting at the acantheon, not the easy hunt once again. All right, and uh, our technique is going to be uh, roughly 75 at, I want to say, um, 8 for Mr. Hutchinson here. So uh, let's go ahead and head right this way, okay? Be safe and out of the beam. Sir, go ahead and uh, just hold your breath, okay? And beam exposed. Sir, go ahead and relax. And we're going to switch our film out here. That was our first shot, PA. Now we're going to do a, thank you, sir. We're going to do a PA axial with, um, fifth, with, uh, wait, what are the waters? Through the waters, actually, so ignore what I just said. <laughs> we're going to keep our beam exactly the same. We have to be perpendicular, but now, sir, go ahead and get as close here as you can. We're going to lift his head up a little bit. Our OML is going to form a 37 degree angle to the image receptor, and our center ray will exit at the acantheon this time. Um, and this time it's true, it will exit at the acantheon. 
So marker moved in. I'm gonna move this up here. Looks pretty good there. So with this uh, with this shot, our area of interest is the uh, maxillary sinuses, and uh, we will be able to see them clearly up there. So want to make sure his mid sagittal plane is also nice and straight and looking good right there. Doing okay there, Mr. Hutch. Yes, sir. All right. He's such a great patient. Wish all my patients were like this guy. Only All right. one. Only one. Yes, only one. Mr. Hutch. Sir, go ahead and just hold your breath there for me, okay? And expose. Go ahead and breathe. And relax. Doing very well, sir. Almost done. We just have another six shots to go on you. <laughs> but don't worry about that. <clears throat> All right. So now uh, we're going to move on to our lateral sinuses, which uh, you want to keep your film oriented this way as well. Uh, go ahead this way. We're going to go ahead and just bring him in a LAO position, which is right, the left side will be a little closer to the film. His head is going to be facing towards me in a true lateral position. I'm going to move your head here a little bit, okay? You want to make sure the interpupillary line is perpendicular to the film. Also, his mid sagittal plane is going to be parallel to the to the board, which he looks pretty good right there. I'm going to bring his chin up just a little bit. There you go. For this shot, you want to you want your center ray to enter about half an inch to an inch posterior to the outer canthus. So I'm going to go up a little bit here and make sure we are still detented. That looks good right there. <clears throat> So now you're going to bring you a little bit back towards me, okay? Perfect, right there. And it looks like our, we're going to cone down just, just a tad here. This, this shot here is going to actually show all four sinuses, the frontal, um, maxillary, ethmoidal, and the sphenoidal sinus, all in one, all in one shot. We're going to keep you right there. We're also going to lower our technique a little bit, uh, since it is a lateral position. Uh, we're going to do about 70 at... Uh, let's go ahead at six. Okay, so sir, go ahead and hold your breath for me, please. And shooting. All right, go ahead and breathe and relax. And grab one more, sir. All right. Now, without me telling you, go ahead and set yourself up and <laughs> into the position for the SMB. All right, our last our last shot here for the sinuses that we want to join. It's called an SMD projection. We're going to go ahead and turn his, his uh, apron around the other way since our primary beam will be coming in from the front this time. Uh, all right. Now, this, this position is often a little hard for patients to do since it is a little weird and awkward for them to arch their back. Uh, what we're going to want is the top of his head is going to be leaning up against this board, and you want it to be as uh, you want the uh, IOML or is it the OML? I IOML to be. Uh, Parallel, yes, parallel to the <laughs> to the image receptor here. All right. I, I guess another line you can go off of is the uh, labellar of the older line to be perpendicular. I guess that would be. If I look at you like this, yeah, it's pretty parallel. I guess I guess that'll work too. So go ahead and lean back for me here, sir. Go ahead and just give him some support, okay? We're gonna be about here. All right. Go ahead and lean or relax. So we're gonna go ahead and lower this down a little bit, not have him suffer too much. And then we'll adjust last minute, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and lean back again. All right, that looks about right. That looks good right there. So we're going to center our ray three quarters of an inch above the external acoustic viatus, the EAM. We're going to cone down to just what we need here. And detent our two. That looks good. Right there, so you're doing okay? I'm gonna wait until you answer me that you're doing okay, <laughs> sir, before I move on. Okay. All right. All right, go ahead and uh, hold your breath, sir. Hold your breath. And exposing, go ahead and relax, sir. Our technique on this last one, since I don't wanna keep them, watch your head as well, sir, sorry. <laughs> move this out of your way. You wanna make sure you also keep an eye out for this tube here, since it could be a little dangerous for our patients. Um, our technique on the last one, um, 
since his uh, his head is a bit awkward, <laughs> we're gonna say we're gonna say we're gonna do seventy at eight. We're gonna do seventy at eight for, for this one uh, on our on our nice patient here. But uh, that's gonna be it for for us uh, as far as the sinuses. We'll be back in a few minutes and do uh, do another uh, series on on Mr. Hutchinson here. Okay, so for now, um, I want to say goodbye, peace, love from myself, Alfredo, my partner. Sean Hutchinson, and our cameraman, A.J. Arsenio Clevenger. Can I get you any water or anything, sir? Are you okay? Uh, Jesus. I know, it's a, I know it's a bit warm in here right now. Sweating like honey big hams. Right. So here we go, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and once again, uh, actually, let me, uh, let me head over here and turn on my machine here. You guys can follow me if you like so. I'm going to turn on our machine here, and uh, we have an order here again for Mr. Hutchinson. Uh, this time, like we mentioned, we're going to do uh, a series on his mandible. Uh, he got into a fight, unfortunately, with uh, 10 ninjas, and that's all that happened. Just, you know, this guy right here can't stay out of trouble. <clears throat> all right, Mr. Hutchinson, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a total of four shots on, uh, on his mandible here. So the first one, as you can see, uh, we went ahead and placed the, uh, the lead on backwards since uh, he won't be facing the board once more. And the beam will be coming in from the back. So you want to make sure you always use lead, okay? Um, for this one, we're going to have him uh, have your face go ahead and just uh, get it as close as you can here to this board. There you go. We're going to adjust this a little bit. Just kind of looking at him. Um, it's going to be around here. There you go. We have our 8x10 um, cassette oriented uh, in the uh, landscape, uh, crosswise. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and line up his OML. All right, Mr. Hutchinson, I'm going to move you a little bit, okay? I'm going to have the OML perpendicular to the, to the image receptor here, which is about there. Mid-sagittal plane, you want to make sure it's nice and in the middle. Then we're just going to go ahead and fix our beam here and attempt it there you go all right so our beam is gonna our center ray is gonna exit at the level of the acantheon all right and what this is gonna show is the mandibular rami okay and we have a horizontal beam so we want to make sure you put on your marker as well and we're on our right side right here and you cone down to the area of interest you don't need to see all this, just the run here is fine. And going in from side to side. That looks good right there. Okay, so for uh, Mr. Hutchinson here on this, on this particular shot, we're going to use a technique of about, uh, I want to say, 75 at 8, more or less what we use on the sinuses, okay? You can go anywhere from 7 to, to 8, maybe a little higher, depending on what you, what you feel is, is appropriate. So Mr. Hutchinson, just go ahead and relax, okay? Go ahead and hold your breath for me. And x-ray, all right, go ahead and relax and breathe. I'm going to switch out our cassette here. Doing okay? Yes, sir. How about those Raiders, man? Falcons all day. All, uh, dolphins? Falcons. Oh, I thought you said dolphins. I thought it was bad enough. So, all right, here we go. <laughs> I'm not a football fan, by the way. I don't, I don't know any of these teams. <laughs> all right. Our next shot here, we're going to do a... Uh, PA axial, which is going to have a 20 to 25 degree cephalic angulation. So we're going to go ahead and roll our tube here from 90 degrees. Do about 20, which is around there. There you go. About 25. All right. You want to make sure your center ray exits at the acantheon again, okay? Go ahead and get you as close here as to the board as you can. We're going to line up our OML perpendicular to the beam or perpendicular to the image receptor one more time. And right there. And our center ray, let's find ourselves. Here we go, I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. Perfect. And detent. And one more time, you always wanna make sure you cone down. Even though we are using a cone, um, this particular cone is a little, a little large. So, we're gonna cone down there. Up. Right marker on the right side of the patient. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and Shoot this, okay? We're going to keep our same technique, 75 at 8. So, Mr. Hutchinson, go ahead.
Go ahead and take in a deep breath. Hold it. And X-ray, go ahead and breathe. And relax. You're doing great, sir. Almost done, all right? Uh, two, more, two more shots on you, sir. There you go. <clears throat> Our next one, we're going to do a... We're going to go into our axiolaterals, PA axiolaterals, where uh, we're going to be focusing on the mandibular rami on one of them and then the mandibular body on, on the next one. Uh, for this one in particular, we're going to have Mr. Hutchinson in a LAO position, which is going to be here. There you go. Perfect, sir. And uh, we're going we're to make sure that his head is in a true lateral position, which is one more time, like we mentioned earlier. The interpupillary lines are perpendicular to the image receptor, and the mid sagittal plane of Mr. Hutchinson is parallel to the board. So we'll go ahead and set him up just like that, okay? So, Mr. Hutchinson, I'm going to move you around here a little bit. So, mid sagittal plane, more or less. More or less, there you go, perfect. And that looks good to me. We're going to have a 25 degree cephalic angulation on our tube, which is what we had earlier. We're at 25 degrees. And uh, for this particular shot, I'm going to have you come back a little bit towards me and lift your chin up for me a little bit. Perfect. We want to enter uh, at a point midways between the, gonia, the gonian and the uh, mandibular mental point, and you're going to skim right underneath the, uh, the uh, distal, I want to say distal right now just because it's further from the, from the image receptor. But uh, the side up here, you go. You want to you want to just skim underneath the uh, the uh, rami here, or the or the body of the other mandible, the mandible on this side, and to exit on on this other side, okay? So, if that makes any sense, I think it didn't make any sense for me, <laughs> but it sounds like I know what I'm talking about. All right, sir, please don't move. No repeats, okay? There you go little bit back towards me. And this particular shot is going to focus on the mandibular rami. And you want to cone down a little bit. You don't want to expose too much. That looks about right. And our right marker is out of the way now because left side is closest. Left marker up there, perfect. And uh, we're going to use a technique of about 70, about 70 at, at 6, OK? All right, Mr. Hutchinson, hold your breath. And x-ray, go ahead and relax. We have one more left, OK? We're going to put you back in the same position that you were right now. But I'm going to move you around a little bit more. Once, once again, 8 by 10, crosswise. And in here, we're going to maintain our 25 degree cephalic angle. Go ahead, sir. Once again, LAO. And uh, we're going to have him, we're going to start him out at a true lateral position, which, uh, like we mentioned earlier, perpendicular and, and parallel. And then we're going to turn his head 30 degrees into the effective side, which is this side. I'm going to raise his chin up a little bit, 30 degrees. And this right here will show the uh, mandibular body in a better, in a better uh, view. Our entrance ray is going to be the exact same place, right there. Got some uh, pretty lips there, Mr. Hutchins. I'm coming a little closer here. <laughs> hey, you want to get this over with, sir? I appreciate it. I can see why someone punched you, because you just don't, you don't take it serious. All right, so here we go. Maintain that position right there. As he moved, you want to reposition him. Perfect. All right, hold your breath, sir. And x-ray. Go ahead and relax, Mr. Hutchinson. We're going to go ahead and run this last one, and we should be done, all right? I hope you had a great time here with us today. <laughs> it was great. It was great. It was gravy. All right. Well, we're going to say bye from for now. You know, my name's Alfredo, and my partner, Sean, here. Hey, come on, bro. <laughs> Make some skin on me, man. My cameraman, AJ, all right? And we want to say to Bruce, man, thank you very much. It's been a really good experience uh, being here with you this whole semester. We've been talking about it earlier, so. Say something, man. I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Happy Mother's Day. Mexican Mother's Day. <laughs> All right, everybody. So let's uh, 
Let's go ahead and take a look at our images that we uh, that we shot on Mr. Hutchinson here. Let's start off with our uh, <clears throat> PA Caldwell uh, sinus shot here. So you could tell uh, there is no um, there was no angle on our uh, on our projection. You can tell that by the Petrus ridges here, which are filling the orbit. If there was a if it would have been an angle on our tube, you would have seen the Petrus ridges down in the lower third of the uh, of the orbit. So here, um, you can tell we we, uh, we got everything that we needed. We, the focus area here is going to be the frontal sinus. Also, you can see the uh, Crista Galli from the ethmoid bone as well. Um, can see the uh, the maxillary sinus here as well. Um, there's no rotation on our image uh, as far as uh, what we can tell. Uh, everything seems to be pretty uh, pretty equidistant from each other. You can tell by the uh, by the rami on the on the mandible, there is no uh, rotation, and uh, looks looks pretty good. And I just hit something else. Ignore that. Oops. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, how did that get on there? So our second shot here that we have is our uh, waters image. Um, we had our patient with uh, 37 degree OML angulation uh, facing facing up. Um, our area of interest in this in this particular image is the uh, maxillary sinus, which you can tell you're gonna see right here these pyramid-looking um, uh, things there. You could also see uh, the orbital rims look uh, look pretty uh, equidistant from the from the sides of the cranium, uh, so it looks pretty good. There's no rotation there. Uh, what you want to see, just in order to make sure that you got everything. You want to see your petrous ridges down here, right below the uh, the maxilla, the maxilla or the maxillary sinus. You're gonna see them right here, and right on the left, um, and that positioning looks good. Uh, we're gonna move on to our to our lateral sinus here. This is actually uh, this is Sean Hutchinson's image that he shot <laughs> earlier. There is no, uh, as you can tell, there's no collimation. So if you guys want to dock them for that, Bruce, that's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna collimate for you. <laughs> Just Hold this here, and I'll be eating pistachios as we do this. <clears throat> so, um, in this in this shot, you really don't need the whole cranium, but you know, is there? Uh, so, in this in this image, you can see all four of the sinuses. Frontal sinus is here. Uh, sphenoidal sinus will be a little bit more posterior. Ethmoidal and the uh, maxillary. One way that you can find out if there's rotation, you want to take a look at your. Uh, Stella tersica and make sure that there that it's nice and superimposed, which it is. Um, also, you can tell by the uh, by the uh, rami here looks pretty good. Everything else looks pretty uh, even, so there is no rotation. Uh, overall, good mark, good marker placement, and uh, move on to the next one. Okay, this one is our SMB, which was our last shot that we did. Uh, this one area of interest is the uh, sphenoidal sinus and the ethmoidal sinus. Ethmoid's here, sphenoid would be more posterior. Um, here you can tell of rotation by, uh, I mean, the jug handles, which you have here, the zygomatic arches, they look pretty perpendicular, pretty um, equidistant from the side of the, uh, the cranium. That looks good. See some of the uh, maxillary sinus here as well. Uh, and and in this one, you won't be able to see the uh, the frontal sinus because you should be covering up uh, the frontal bone with the uh, maxilla, which looks pretty good there. So our positioning is good. And let's see what we have here. Uh, now we're going to move on to our mandible. <clears throat> uh, nice coning down here that, that we did. Uh, this is our PA mandible. Um, <clears throat> focuses on the rabbi. We even label this for you, so make it easier. Um, so <laughs> here's the body, and uh, you see the rami here looks looks good. Uh, the gonian, the angle of the mandibles look pretty uh, pretty parallel and equidistant, so there is no rotation. That right there looks good, and you don't want to see more than this. That that, that looks good right there. Good collimation. Uh, our mark our marker unfortunately was cut off, but um, you know let's move on. So. Uh, this is our second one, <clears throat> our PA axial mandible. Um, with this one, we had our uh, we had an angle on our tube, which was I believe 20, 25 degrees, 20, 25 cephalic. Um, 
And this right here will actually focus on this particular area. It's going to elongate the, uh, the mandible, which uh, you can see here. It looks, looks good. You shouldn't be able to see orbits or anything, so this is the area of interest here. Marker placement is good. Um, and there is no rotation, as you can tell by uh, equal distance here from the sides. <clears throat> and um, looks good. So let's move on to the next one. Um, with this one, we had our we have the patient facing um, on, a, on a true lateral position, and we skimmed with our with our beam skimmed right underneath the uh, the uh, mandible here the elevated mandible and this particular shot here was a true lateral position so our area of interest is the rami closest to the film so um, in this particular case here with, with this image it should be the, uh, the right rami that's facing this way so um, that right there looks looks good we're focusing here uh, nice collimation doesn't look rotated uh, and here is the, the ramus, and you can see the body for the, for the next one that we did, that's the area of interest, which is the body. Here we turn the patient's head 30 degrees into the affected side, um, elongating, or actually focusing more on the body of the mandible, which is here. Uh, you can tell the difference between both of them. Here, this one focuses more on the rami, which is in the true lateral position, and here, which is 30 degrees rotated inwards, focuses more on the body of the mandible uh, that right there looks good um, and these are the axial lateral mandible shots okay so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and you know don't forget to look us up on facebook All right. facebook <laughs>